All right, this is uh, Coach Haynes coming from my office, and this week I want to talk about um, really about um, when you're playing against high-powered offenses, when you're playing against um, fast-paced offenses that like to run a lot of different plays, and uh, a little bit how you can be successful. And we'll go back to our UMass game and why we were successful against uh, UMass. And there was a lot of great things that guys did defensively, but it was really a team effort. When you have a team that wants to run a bunch of plays like UMass did and, and they want to get up to the 80, you know, play range and we held them to 60, um, you know, a lot of times those teams start to panic a little bit when, when they're at halftime at 20, you know, or at halftime at 30 because they're not getting the plays in. And they're, they're really working on you making mistakes more than their scheme. And Bowling Green is similar to that. So... Um, you know, when you look at our offense, our offense was moving the ball. We wasn't putting points on the board, but we were getting first downs and getting first downs and keeping our defense, you know, on the sideline. And that's why their play production was not going up. UMass's play production was not going up. So, um, and, and you talk about, again, how did you hold them? If that team or any team that likes to get 80 plays in the game, if they get up to that 80 plus, uh, they're going to get points on the board because there's the more plays they have, the more chances they have for big plays. So it's going to be real important again, and just like the UMass game, for us in the Bowling Green game to make sure that we're moving the ball, making sure that on defense we can get stops and get our defense on the bench.